What is physical education? Physical education is an integral part of educational program designed to promote the optimum development of individual, physically, socially, emotionally, and mentally through total body movement and the performance of properly selected physical activities. It focuses on developing physical fitness and the ability to perform and enjoy day-to-day -day physical activities with ease. Students also develop skills necessary to participate in a wide range of activities, such as soccer, basketball, or swimming. Regular physical education classes prepare the students to be physically and mentally active, fit, and healthy into adulthood. Physical education helps students develop physical skills and confidence. For example, the elementary and the middle school curriculum includes activities that running, catching, throwing, and striking. Applicable to sports such as baseball, volleyball, or karate. Balancing skills could be applied to dance or gymnastics. In high school and college curriculum, should focus on lifetime sports skills like aerobic dance exercises. Physical education prepares students to become highly proficient to one or more sports and or fitness activity of their choice. It also helps students to develop social skills. For example, in teen sport, it helps them to learn to respect other people, contribute and attain goal and socialize as productive member of a team. Physical education develops fitness and posture to desire. It teaches the health benefits of regular exercises and eating healthy foods, choices along with a race of active lifestyle and for diet. The students expected to do a video recording of all the performances and reflect on it which affects their daily performance and mood. Psychomotor or physical development. It deals with the program of activities that build the physical power in an individual by developing the various organic systems of the body. It results the ability to sustain, recover, and to resist fatigue. In psychomotor, it involves the development of health related to fitness, such as cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, muscular endurance, and body composition. It involves with the development of performance related or skill related fitness, such as agility, balance, coordination, power, speed, and reaction time. Cognitive or mental development. It includes the development intellectual abilities, acquisition of knowledge, formation of ideas, problem solving, analysis, interpretation, and creativity. It also includes understanding of rules and application of strategies or technique in games and sports. Physical activities require alertness of mind, deep concentration, and calculated movements. It also includes rules and regulations and the technique of the games. In mental development, the participation in physical activities teaches to draw conclusions as the student face new situations and to take decisions independently. Social desirable worthwhile traits are friendliness, cooperation, respect for the rights of others, good sportsmanship, good leadership and followership, and honesty in the group competition. Effective development is involved with attitudes, appreciation, and values such as sportsmanship. Emotional traits needed for emotional mastery like self-confidence, self-control, self-reliance, courage, determination, and personal discipline. Physical education can help to develop or enhance students' social and emotional aspect traits like cooperation, respect, self-confidence, and discipline as they were into or involved with different activities. What are the values of physical education? 
the value of physical education activities are found in the resulting development and adjustment of the individual. Engaging in any activity stimulates in some degree the four types of development although different activities emphasize different amounts. Regular exercise and physical activity are extremely important and beneficial for long-term health and well-being. The following slide discusses the benefit of physical education to one individual. Watch and listen to the video clip on the next slides. Why physical education? Of course, physical education helps you to encourage physical activity for life. It also helps prevent sickness and diseases. It provides an outlet for creativity and self-expression. It also develops cooperation and teamwork, builds self-confidence, provides opportunity for personal goal settings, increases personal fitness and motor skills development, helps reduce stress and anxiety, strengthen your relationship with others, and boost academic learning. PE, unnecessary or crucial to creating happier, healthier, and smarter kids? Let's ask the brain. Here's John, a lower primary student, and here's John's brain. John's brain is the control center of his body and needs to be kept healthy and stimulated. The healthier John's brain is, the stronger, smarter, and happier John is. Numerous studies have shown that regular exercise stimulates the brain. When we move, our brain is encouraged to grow new cells. These brain cells are responsible for boosting learning, enhancing memory, and even reducing depression. Exercise, in particular sports, also stimulates the production of dopamine, a chemical in the brain which makes us happier and more receptive to learning. And movement helps us pay attention, which in turn speeds up the learning process. That's exactly how our children's brains benefit from PE. Remember, the brain is involved in everything they do in school and outside, whether it's studying or tackling future challenges as they grow up. But how is this achieved? With the help of the revised PE curriculum. Our PE curriculum begins in P1 with non-locomotor skills. It also teaches John locomotor skills, manipulative skills, and combining skills with the application of movement concepts. All through his school years, PE continues to develop John's brain with hours of play outdoors. He learns more complex activities which focus on combinations and sequences to stimulate both hemispheres of the brain. By the time John moves to secondary level, he begins to refine his skills he learned in primary school to a variety of physical activities and games-related concepts. These kinds of sports and exercises make sure John moves in all directions and has not only a healthy body, but a strong sense of space awareness, movement and balance all through his life. The problem-solving nature of these activities helps him to hone his mental skills further. So, parents, how does PE help John outside of class? All work and no play can make John a dull boy. To get John fired up again, he can take a break and engage in some physical activity. By changing the brain state with some physical activity, John can recharge and re-engage his brain, which allows him to absorb information faster and better. So get your children excited about PE. They'll be happier, healthier and smarter for it and enjoy its unmatched benefits for life. Physical education has been made a compulsory subject in school all over the world. But why? What makes this subject so important to be acknowledged by the whole world? If academic education prepares us to conquer the world with knowledge, physical education gives us stamina and strength for this conquest. There are innumerable benefits of this subject. Its utility cannot be reflected on the mark sheet for it can be judged with mark score. Your personality will show how much have you been benefited? Following are the few benefits of physical education. Regular physical activities improve your fitness level. Living sedentary life make you slow and rigid, but with regular exercise, you can be agile and swift. Your reflex improves and your motor skills develop. Regular exercises, be it of any kind, lift up the mood and keep stress, depression, and anxiety away. 
Basically, physical activities produce a hormone named endorphin, which is known to induce positive feelings and reduce pain perception. Overall, you feel happier and charge up to face the world, always. This is one of the most important aspects of having physical education in the regular curriculum. Exercises and sport teach self-discipline. To succeed in any field, be it education, sport, or business, discipline is very important. Exercise is one of the two most important must-do things for weight loss, other one being diet control. Physical activity of any kind like running, brisk walking, jogging, or proper slogging in gym help burn calories which result in weight loss. Physical activities like weightlifting and running tone muscles, improve their ability to absorb amino acid, and straighten them to avoid breakdown. If you are into regular exercises from your younger days, your bone density will be higher to prevent osteoporosis. Initially, exercises will make you tired, but very soon it reduces even the persistent fatigue. This has also shown a positive impact in increasing energy levels of the patient of progressive diseases like cancer, age, etc. If classroom education gives you friend, playground education nurtures and straightens this bond, when you are playing or participating in some physical activity with the class, you are no longer an individual. You become part of a team. It is from here that you learn about peer relationship, team spirit, and keeping the team ahead of yourself. You learn to respect yourself, your coach, captain, teammates, and classmates. Your inherent qualities of leadership and decision making are honed by physical education. You no longer think about yourself, but of your team, and you are required to make decisions while on move. These two qualities can take you far. Kick. Physical education helps you concentrate on your work. This is essential for the student. So, physical education is helpful in improving your academic results as well.